introduce you to a true black history pioneer, the Right Honorable Louise Simone Bennett Coverley, or simply Miss Lou. Miss Lou was born in Jamaica in 1919. She'd eventually earn a scholarship that afforded her the opportunity to go to England and study at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. In fact, she was the first Jamaican to study there. This gave her an opportunity and enabled her, really, to explore her interests in the dramatic arts, both performance on stage, which she became very well known for, but also in broadcasting and in presentation. Since she was a teenager, Miss Lou had started writing poems, and she wrote several poems that were published early in her life in the local newspapers in Jamaica. This was a lifelong passion for her that she would expand on significantly in the 1950s when she returned to Jamaica from England to begin working there. What's significant about Miss Lou's poetry was that they were written mostly in Jamaican language, or patwa, or otherwise referred to as Creole. This is very significant, because at that point in time, Jamaican language was considered a sub-language, not on par with English, and it was something that was not en entertained uh, as part of public discourse in Jamaica. In fact, most times it was strongly discouraged. And so her decision to present her poetry and her work in Pato was not only significant for Jamaica, but was also significant for generations of Jamaicans who would come later and perform culturally in Jamaican language. Miss Lou did this very significantly with the uh, broadcasting of a program that she had on Jamaican radio with her partner, Rani Williams. And the Miss Lou and Rani show was incredibly important to the entire generation of Jamaicans who grew up listening to them regularly. They were funny shows. She was a comedian par excellence. And she was also very keen on taking that performance on the radio to the stage. By the 1960s, Miss Lou was appearing in several plays in Jamaica, and she became a standard on the Jamaican stage for many years to come. She had a few cameo appearances in some films, not many, but she continued to uh, expand her devotion to Jamaican folklore through mass media. She would appear on TV. By the time television takes off, Miss Lou was having several programs in Jamaica, Smile Jamaica in the 1970s, and also Ring Ding a little bit later on. Miss Lou traveled Jamaica and became traveled Jamaica and also traveled overseas and became a major cultural icon for the country. In fact, its leading cultural ambassador during the early years of independence that followed 1962. Her performances were recorded. There were several LPs that were released. They became inspiration for later poets who would write and publish and perform in Jamaican language from Linton Kwesi Johnson to Mikey Smith to Muta Baruka. All of them have a genealogy that can be traced all the way back to Miss Lou. If you expand further to look at Jamaican musicians in all the different genres of Jamaican music, from ska to rock study to reggae to dancehall, again, the imprint of Miss Lou's influence is found very strong on the style of performance, which is often in Jamaican pato or Creole, but also in the uh, support that they give to Jamaican culture and its evolution. Miss Lou was honored many times over for her contributions to Jamaican culture by the Jamaican national government. And after her death in Toronto, where she spent the last decade of her life, she came back to Jamaica for a state funeral. Her body was returned to Jamaica for a state funeral, and she's been elevated in Jamaican society as one of the true heroes of uh, Jamaican culture and Jamaican language. So, do yourself a favor. Explore some of Miss Lou's work. So much of it is recorded and published. You can find her books, Jamaica Labrish, and others that are uh, widely available. Look at the poems. Look at the way in which she structures them. But importantly, look at the way in which she integrates humor with biting social commentary in a style that is very much Jamaican. And also, explore some of the online performances of Miss Lou's work. These range from her own uh, renditions or uh, expressions or performances of her poems to foreign groups that have that have performed Miss Lou's work. Her most significant poem that has often gotten a lot of attention out overseas has been Colonization in Reverse, a biting commentary on uh, the impact of West Indian migration to England. Louise 
Simone Bennett Coverley, or simply Miss Lou, is a true Black History Month pioneer. <laughs>